Welcome to the Straight Razor Edge Friday Special. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. It's good to see you. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave and all things straight razor related, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's Straight Razor Edge Friday Special, we are looking at Strop Buying Guide for Straight Razor Beginners. Steven Davidson commented on one of my videos recently, and he said, can you do a Strop Buying Guide for Beginners? Beginners often get information overload looking at their first drop. So any help you can offer would be awesome. And Steven, thank you so much for your comment. And this is for you. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to be demonstrating with my CY Grand Slam. Okay, this is three inches long from here to here. And this is uh, 13 sixteenths. All right. And for our first drop, I got this, just a generic little strop. Okay, now one of the good points is it actually does have a swivel, which is nice. And it has a handle, which I also like. Now, here's the problem with this. See that? This is a two inch drop versus a three inch razor. All right. And now, see this? Okay, these are the reasons why you do not spend a whole lot of money on that first drop, okay? There's no reason. You're probably just going to cut it up anyway like I've done this one, okay? This isn't terrible, but it does happen. Now, I also put Chrome Ox on the back of this, okay? Don't do that. It just is not worth it, okay? Go ahead. You can leave the suede side. And you can go ahead and use it to kind of clean off, dry up your straight razor, and then use the smooth side, okay, to actually uh, straighten out that edge and get a good shave. So now that is a two inch straw, which I'm not going to recommend. I really don't think it's a great idea. Now, I've got this three inch drop. Now, I don't even know if you can buy these brands anymore. So uh, don't even look at that necessarily. Again, it's got the swivel here, which is gray. And it's got the handle, which I also like. And see, I've nicked it up a bit. Now this one is a bit larger. All right. And, okay, it does have a suede on the back. Look at that. No chrome ox. All right. So don't do it. You don't need to. It's not a big deal, not to start with anyway. All right, and now the three inch strop with the three inch razor. Okay, so as as you're looking at this, I, I want you guys, I want you to see it. Okay, see how that is going to be much easier than trying to do X strokes on a two inch strop. Now, a strop like this, you can buy something that looks almost identical to this and you can get it on Amazon for like 16 bucks. Everything you needed to do as a beginner, it would be three inches wide. Perfect. Okay. Now also chef's knife to go have something very similar to this as well. Okay. And it's 20 bucks, but it has been compared to a Dovo. All right. And it is smooth leather on the one side and suede on the other with the same type of design, okay, as this one, as far as how the handle and the swivel are on it. And 20 bucks at uh, Chef Knife to go, all right? Now, what I use is this 30 degree strap, all right? Now, you can't actually buy these anymore, but here is what it looks like now on Amazon, and you can check it out, all right? And these are going to be about 65 bucks, okay? Give, give or take a little bit, but it's got this wonderful 
clamp and hook. Got a nice swivel. Okay, beautiful. And it's got these kind of handles, paddle handles, on a swivel. Alright, which is awesome. Now, with this 30 degree strop, you know, you can do perfectly fine with this. Got this beautiful smooth leather side, right? Now this is two piece, so it's also got a fabric side. Now, if I were you to start with at least, you don't have to get really expensive. You can just go with with something less expensive, all right? Now, this has also got the suede side, and now that does have chrome ox on it, but I didn't put it there, okay? That has chrome ox on it because I put it on the fabric side, all right? So now, on that fabric side, it will rub off on the suede leather side. So I always put the chrome ox on the inside of the fabric, because if you don't, it's going to make a mess and it's going to get on everything. So always put it on the inside. All right. And then on the outside, you've got this beautiful fabric. All right. So now what I'm going to suggest is go ahead and buy something you can afford. Just keep it simple. No big deal. All right. Hey, thank you so much. I really hope this is helpful. Now, uh, for all of you experienced guys out there and gals, go ahead and in the comments, go ahead and add your suggestions as well. We're trying to keep this simple for the beginner and have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate you and all you do. You can click right up here for a complete shave, okay, from beginning to end, pre-shave to post, all right, click right over here to see my latest video, click down here on a video specially picked out for you, click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends, have a great shave and a good day, and I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.